Hi, thanks for coming by PineCreekMusic.com or our Pine Creek Music uh, YouTube channel for video. Um, I wanted to show you my new, brand new, lag acoustic electric guitar. It's gorgeous. I love it. it sounds great. It was uh, three hundred dollars. You can buy these all day long for three hundred dollars. You can probably get a better deal at Reverb. Follow the link on this page. To shop at Reverb, shop my Reverb site. Uh, if if there's one up there, we'll uh, we'll get you a better link to one. Um, but I got a problem. I live in Arizona. Arizona is really dry, so I need to keep I need to be able to monitor the humidity uh, for my guitar while it's in the case, uh, so that it doesn't get too dried out. Um, most places will tell you somewhere between 40 and 55 percent humidity is good for a guitar uh, especially an acoustic one but this is true for electrics as well especially the ones uh, made out of the better woods these days the more expensive the gu guitar the more important it is to do it i guess but um so how do i measure the humidity and temperature inside my guitar case Ta -da! these guys are geniuses um, this is something called the Humor Reader from Music Nomad. We're not selling these, but I will have a link on the, this page at the bottom that'll take you to Reverb and probably help you find the absolute best price on this. If you want to get crazy, um, there's even versions made by, I think, other companies um, that have an app and a Bluetooth sensor, so you don't even have to open the case to read what's going on inside your case. Um, so... On the back, to open this, just push in, there's a little, it's perforated, just push that in. You don't have to get out scissors and knives and cut yourself trying to get it open, which is nice. Uh, we've got one here we already opened. Comes with the instructions, of course. And what's in there is a little holster and the unit. You can take the holster, you can put it someplace inside your guitar that's not going to hit some part of the guitar. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, I guess you could. Um, and uh, slide this into it, and it's out of the way. Or you can do what I'm going to do uh, in a moment, and that's put it right in the sound hole. If it's an acoustic guitar, you can do that. If it's electric, you'll want to put it up in the case someplace. It's got 3M sticky tape. It's not going to go anyplace. Uh, you just pop it in there, and you're good. Uh, there's a little tab here that I already pulled out because um, I was like, oh, what's this? <laughs> When you pull it out, it'll activate the little button battery. Okay, the tab is the, it's a little plastic tab. Uh, keeps it from using the battery up uh, before you get to it. And um, you turn it on with the uh, just by activating the battery. It's got uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius readings. Just select it there. We're going to do Fahrenheit. If you're in Canada, grab Celsius, obvious, uh, or centigrade, depending on where you are in the world. Um, and it has a min-max button. So right now, 31% humidity, 78 degrees. We're in Arizona. It's November, but we're in Arizona. Um, and then there's a min-max button. So I press max at 35% at 78 degrees. And press it again. Min, 20%. Woo! At 75 degrees. I've seen that humidity reading be 6 here. Um, that's a guitar killer. You don't want to do that. And it goes back to normal all by itself. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put it in the sound hole. You can just put it between like two strings. It just slides in. Bing! Done. And every time I open the case I can see that I have a humidity problem. So the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to see what can I do about the humidity problems. So I'm going to do a search on Reverb.com for humidifiers and maybe they even make one a humidifier that goes in the case. We'll see what happens. Um, and to get it out, obviously not a big deal. I'll spread the string slightly and it slides right out. So pretty cool. Um, glad we got it. Shows me that I have a, a definite issue here. I've got another one for one of my other guitars. And, um, but clearly I have a problem that I need to solve. I can't uh, humidify the entire house. It's too big. 
uh, but I can humidify the guitar case. So we'll look into that. But these are cool. Uh, if you live someplace, you live in Florida or someplace, you just want to keep an eye on it. Couldn't go be better than that. Thanks for visiting us, pinecreekmusic.com. Don't forget, 10% of all our sales go to the VH1 Save the Music Foundation to get music back in schools. Thanks for coming by.